I hope you've got um, health insurance because <laughs> matches like that are just and I think the rest of us in the stands and such are biting our fingernails. It must be even worse for the coach. Yeah, yeah, we don't um, we don't do things the easy way, do we? Honestly, that's for sure. Not this season, anyway. Um, yeah, obviously, absolutely delighted to come back. You know, I, I thought first half we we weren't at our best. I thought we bombed a few chances um, against a good Oldham team. Uh, you know, they're a big, tough, physical team, and um, I thought we bombed a couple of chances. So I was a bit disappointed at 12-6 at half time, but. Uh, well, I've got to give them credit for uh, for going out and putting that performance on second half. Um, again, Oldham take the lead and, and came back and, and nudged in front 6-4. Um, but is there a little bit of still inviting people back into the game? Oh, well, definitely. You know, I, I, that was my that was my talk at half time. Is you know, we've oh, Oldham only got into our half through either unslit errors or unslit penalties, and, and we've got to be better at that. We can't afford to let teams like Oldham onto our try line and, and that's definitely what we did. I thought some of the calls from the referee were a bit tough I have to say but um, certainly some of the penalties but um, yeah I thought we, we, we've got to be a little bit smarter than that and as, as, again as I said against good teams uh, they punish you and that's what Unslet did and, and that's why they, they went up 12-6 up at half time so yeah lots of elements of the game that we still need to be better at and, and improve at but you know we're, we're still a work in progress but we're going in the right direction. Um, second half uh, kept Oldham to, to zero. Um, managed to score a, a couple of uh, a couple of tries, but unfortunately Joe just missed a conversion that would have uh, uh, have at least put it yeah. to it. It was only a score, and then a few errors in the last few minutes. Uh, it really was um, a squeaky bum time, wasn't oh, it? That, that last five minutes was just horrendous. I just thought it was never ending. I don't, I don't know what we were doing. We were forcing the issue. You know, the message kept going on, just complete and kick and turn Oldham round, but. We forced another pass and knocked on, and that takes some doing to defend your own try line for the last five minutes when you're when you're under the pump, knowing that the score will level it and the kick will probably meant we lose the game. Shows a lot of mental toughness, I thought, um, and certainly, certainly, there was a lot of positives out of that, but there was some negatives as well that we need to be a lot smarter at. Um, Oldham uh, have got quite a. Um uh, a squad that was there in the championship last year, so they've got a lot of experience within that. Um, it must please you when you, you, you've got a, a fairly new side, and we are behind the eight ball a little bit with a lot of the top end sides, um, that you've actually now taken four points off one of those sides that, the, that that's expected to be in the in the top five. Definitely, yeah, definitely. You know, we uh, that was part of the build up this week. Really, was you know the fact that we'd gone over there and, and, and beat them at home at their place. So. It made it doubly important that we didn't that we didn't lose this one at home because it takes the gloss off that win and, and four pointers against teams that are in the top half of the table or the top five are absolutely massive for us and and you know we, we, we've done the job today against like I said a very good Oldham side that that will be definitely there or thereabouts towards the end of the season and there's still I feel a lot of t twists and turns to be had in this league there's a lot of good teams in this competition so uh, you know it's job done this week but we've got to move on to next week and make sure we keep improving because we. We've still got a long, long way to go. Did Oldham throw anything at you that was unexpected? No. Because you'd expect them to come right out of the traps early on yep. after that loss across at their place. No, no, I, we, we, I don't, you know, we've done a bit of work on them. I, I, I looked at the previous few games and I, I knew there were challenges up the middle of the field. Um, I know they lost Danny Bridge early in the game, which is their main threat out on the left hand side. Scored three tries last week against London. So we knew where the threat was. We knew that the challenge was in the middle of the field and it was a big ask for our middles, especially, you know. Uh, we, we, we lost Mickey Haley in, in midweek, so Cov had to come in and Nyleford had to come in for, for their first games for a while and, and, and did all right. But I think it was about rotating those guys because we knew they'd blow, uh, blow up and, and, and lose some energy because they haven't played for so long. So we just had to manage their time uh, efficiently and I thought we did that. So we always knew that we had some fresh fresh guys on in the middle of the field, but no, Oldham did exactly as I thought they'd do. The, the challenge is hard, they ran hard and they and they, and they ran the ball really, really tough and, and we had to defend to be at, at our best at times to, to keep them off the try line. Um, and, and you would expect that um, some of the big guys that they've got, and, and they have got some really big guys, um, the heat today was another factor um, and, and I'm, I'm presuming that's part of it was to turn some of those bigger guys around and make them do a bit more running in, in the heat yeah. that was out there. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we, we've pretty much stick to our game plan over the last few weeks to be honest. We haven't changed it up too much. We wanted to move them about a little bit. We wanted to run them about a bit and I think you know, we, we played some pretty good tidy rugby at the minute. We're certainly on our strikes. Um, but that was always the plan to, to, to try and move them about and work them hard in defence. 
bit disappointed with the completion. I, you know, I think we were only at 65% first half and uh, you know, sec second half wasn't much better, I don't think. So we've won a game there that re really with a poor completion rate, but that's what you really need in, in weather like this is a high completion rate, turn the opposition around. But I think that completion rate's probably been reduced because of the, the last five minutes when we were pushing the football when we didn't need to. Um, final try, if I remember rightly, from Kane. Um, <coughs> But it was a big guy that ran down yeah. the middle, and um, I do like to say, uh, see some of the big guys in full for, uh, full yeah. um, uh, flow. Uh, and he didn't leave anything on the table, did he? Well, he started as a centre, um, but he's certainly not going to finish his career as a centre, <laughs> is he? But as a youngster, he was a centre, and uh, he's been a great signing for us. I'm delighted Zach's come. He's, he's really enjoying his rugby. He's really fitting into the group, and uh, I thought he was explosive again today. And he, he was a handful. He was a handful with Zach, and. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't admit that. I would have liked to have seen him go the whole way and score mm -hmm. it himself, but you know, he, he just, just couldn't make the last five and handed on to Kane, but what a terrific break. And you could just see the spirits from everybody lifted after that, you know, and uh, it meant we could, um, you know, we could, we could sort of sit back and, I won't say relax, because we did relax probably probably too much, really, and, and allowed Oldham too much time on our, on our trial line that last five. But yeah, it certainly, it certainly gave us a lift going into the last 10 minutes of the game. Well, well done. It's another win, another vi um, a victory, another notch on the belt. Yep. and it keeps the, the, the winning streak going yep. so let's look forward to next week and hope that we can uh, continue that run yeah exactly and another potential banana, banana skin away at North Wales we all remember what happened there last year so yeah. we need to be really focused on that one right. thank you thanks cheers